Hey everyone, Bowtie here, and we're back in the log cabin world. I've gotten a lot of requests, whether it's here on YouTube or on my Twitch streams. Yes, I do stream on Twitch, links down in the description, on how to build this beautiful log cabin that you're seeing here right behind me. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you block for block how I made this amazing build. To get started with your log cabin build, we're gonna go ahead and take a spruce log. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is gonna be the height of the main part of our build before we get to our roof. And then we're gonna take dark oak stripped logs, come out one, two, three, four, and five. I like using uh, the spruce and the dark oak for this build, but you can use whatever combination that works for you. So once again, we're gonna come up another six with the spruce, just like that. That's gonna be the front of our build. And we're gonna come back this way nine with the stripped logs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Switch back to the spruce log come up another six, just like that, perfect. Once again, we're gonna take the stripped log, come back nine again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, go back to spruce. This time we're only gonna go up four. This is gonna be a smaller entrance to the build, so we're only going up four, back to the stripped log, three across, back to spruce, one, two, three, and four again. We're gonna do another three across here with the stripped, Back to spruce, this time we're going back to doing six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I think that's right. Let's take a look and see, perfect. Back to the strip log and fill this in. And that's going to be another five right there. There's a couple other changes that we're gonna make here using the stripped logs. Again, I like having a log right here to be in line with the others. This one's also going to go up six. So we have these three in a row right there. And then on the middle of this face, so we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Put in another one going up six, just to break this up and add a little bit more interest and uh, appeal to that side of the build. So I'm gonna pause up here for just a second, let you count, take a look and see, make sure you got it looking just like this. And then we'll go ahead and I'm gonna fill in the walls and then we can start on the roof. There we go, we got the walls all filled in. So anywhere at that, we went up six with the logs, we're gonna have six layers of stripped dark oak. Anywhere went up four, we have four layers of the stripped dark oak. So let's start on the roof. We're gonna go ahead and put a couple of logs facing outward at the far ends. We're also gonna do that on our smaller area right here. This is gonna end up being the entrance to our build. And then we're gonna make a simple A-frame roof right here in the front. We're gonna copy this design on the back as well. If you wanna do something more complicated here, feel free to go for it. I have an entire uh, tutorial on roof designs. Actually, I got a two-part tutorial, so feel free to check that out on my channel as well, but I'm just gonna do the simple design like this, and we'll copy this over to the backside. There we go, we got our A-frame on both sides. The next thing we're gonna do is bring the line of slabs across on the top, just like so, connecting them together. We're also gonna use our stairs and bring that all the way across and do the same thing on this side. Whoops, we got a block that's upside down here. We'll fix that, perfect, fantastic. Let's get our stairs going across right here as well. And I'll fill those in. And then the next thing that we'll do, come on, is we're gonna fill this in with the log blocks or the wood blocks. That's the ones that have the architecture on all four sides. You only need to put them on the ends like this. And then the rest of it, you can use the normal log texture to fill in the side. And we're gonna do this on both sides all the way up to the top. With our roof filled in, let's fill in these gaps underneath the A-frame. So we're gonna come from the inside to do this. And we're gonna take barrels and fill it all in on the inside, just like so. This works out great to be used as a wall, as well as adding in uh, additional storage without taking up extra space in your build. So it leaves a lot more room for the interior decorating. And let's see how that looks from the outside. Pretty nice, I love the bottom of the barrels. It's a nice texture that uh, you can't get from any other block in the game. With the main roof taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and do the smaller roof for the entrance. We'll start off with a trap door, move on to a slab, dark oak stair, and then two full blocks. On top of this full block right here, we'll put in another dark oak trap door, just like so. And we can copy that pattern all along the top here to complete the look of the roof. Now underneath here, you might wanna do things a little bit different. Maybe you wanna come in with an upside down stair and uh, use it like that. To me, that looks a little bit nicer and we can do that on both sides. 
So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. With the roof and the walls of the build done, let's go ahead and add in some more details. We're gonna start off with a chimney right here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and then go up three as well. So you're gonna have a three by three square. That's gonna be the base of the chimney. I'm gonna do another row of two with a cobblestone stair facing into it. And this is gonna transition into a four by two uh, chimney stack right here. So it goes up just one above the roof of the cabin. We'll place in two campfires right there and then surround those campfires with oak trap doors. I like using the oak because they have the parts that you can see through, which when I look at it from down here, I think just makes the build look a little bit more interesting. On top of the campfire, we're gonna go ahead and place two trap doors to cap off the top of the chimney. Now from here, we're gonna come in and take a couple of cobblestone blocks to start making our porch here. We're gonna come out, I think three, just like that. And then we'll put down a cobblestone stair there. Cobblestone stair here. We'll knock out these two, putting cobblestone stairs there as well. And then along this edge, kind of act as like the railing or banister for the porch. I uh, will just put some slabs extending up over the end of this last uh, cobblestone stair. If you want, you can put a slab on that side just to make it look even. I personally like it just the way it is. And then let's go ahead and put our spruce door to get in it to the build and that is our entrance with the entrance and chimney complete it's time to go ahead and add in some more details such as windows we do need to let some light on the inside of this build so we're going to use some brown grass panes and i like using brown just because i feel like they are kind of dirty and that's what you would probably see in a log cabin in the woods and we're going to add a flower box underneath the window so just some dark oak slabs uh, with some grass blocks on top surrounded by spruce trap doors like so. And then you can add in what other, whatever flowers you want to use. I got a couple here already picked out. We'll just spam those in kind of however you want to do them. Now, where is my campfire? That seems to have disappeared. Let's go ahead and just grab another one from up top here. We're gonna put the campfires right above the window and use our shovels to put those out. And don't forget to close your trap door just like that. Perfect. Now above the campfires, I'm gonna throw in some trap doors in the corners here. So that's gonna be on the top side of this row of stripped dark oak. And then on the bottom side of this last row of barrels, we'll put in some more trap doors. And underneath those, I'm gonna put in some fence gates. You can open them if you like and act like it's adding some support to the build or to this ledge. I prefer leaving them closed. I think that just looks a little bit nicer. Now, we can also go ahead and grab some buttons and stairs. Buttons can go on the edge of these exposed logs, act like they're nails or pegs or spikes or whatever, helping keep the build together. And our cobblestone stairs can go down here at the bottom to act like their supports for the build. And we're gonna do that all around this build. We're gonna leave a couple of spots like this back wall is gonna be empty, but we're gonna do that all over the place. So let's add in our cobblestone stairs all around here like so perfect uh let's add in our buttons we're going to do this on the back side over here and one thing i realized that i don't like are these blocks right here and i don't like the logs coming out because they just don't match up with what's going on here so we're going to get rid of those and it's fine that that still looks good without those logs there that's perfectly okay let's add in a few more windows over here place one there one there add in our dark oak slabs again. And I like working in steps, just kind of using the same block all around to get everything nice and in place. That way you don't have to do a lot of switching. So we put in our spruce trap doors again, add in a few more flowers. This wall will remain blank. We'll do a two by two window on this wall, just like this. So get our glass panes again, put that in. We're not gonna do a flower box in this one. This one's gonna be left alone because we're gonna have a basement going underneath of our log cabin but we will do another window here and this window will get the last flower box. So slabs, grass blocks, trap doors, and then whatever plants or flowers you want to put in on the top, just like that. Let's just do a quick once around, make sure that we got all the details that I want. And actually I missed this one back here. So we want to repeat the same design that we did on front. So trap doors on this top row of uh, stripped dark oak right above. On the bottom of the barrels, we put more of the trap doors, and then underneath that we could put our fence gates. 
With the main details taken care of with the build, let's come in back here and add a nice covering to what can be a work area or a storage area. So we'll do some slabs on the fifth layer of the dark oak, and then we'll come out from the slabs with some spruce trap doors. Underneath those, we'll put in a line of slabs like that, so it gets a little bit more of a connection coming down. I'm gonna throw in these stairs just as a temporary block, so I can go ahead and place the stair the proper way. That'll come all the way across like so. We're gonna grab our uh, trap doors again, bring that just in front of the stairs, and that's gonna be the main part of our awning. Underneath that, we'll come in the corners here with some cobblestone walls, and we can lift that up with some fence posts, just like so. If you wanna add in some extra detail bits, you can put some fences right here, open that up, so that way it's like a support, connecting it officially to the log cabin. And you can also put some more fences right here just to have something that looks nice and add some more detail to the build. Next thing to work on is the basement to be underneath this build here. We're gonna go ahead and take some slabs and go one, two, three, and four, fill in the spaces between our two stairs here. And we're gonna come out another three from the edge of the slabs, just like that. Now we can punch out a staircase down all the way. We're gonna go one, two, three, and we're gonna break this out as well for a total of four. This layer right here should be directly underneath the stripped dark oak from the cabin. We can also take out the dirt on the sides right here. We're gonna fill all of that in with some stone brick or whatever block you want to use as the foundation and support of your build. That is all up to you. I am just going to be choosing to use some stone brick. So we'll come in right here, just like that that taken care of do the same thing on this side and then we're also going to come in with some stair blocks to actually give us our way down so we're not bumping our heads and jumping to get up and down so just like that actually don't do it just like that because some of those blocks were upside down so perfect we got that let's go ahead and cover our entrance right here with our stairs that looks pretty good and is there anything else I want to do here? I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, maybe just bring that out to act like a bit more support so then you can go in. We go down one, two, three, four, and we have the dark stripped oak right above us. Next up, we're gonna make a nine by nine hole here in front of us, and that's gonna be a total of five up and down. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. We got our hole dug out. We're gonna go ahead and fill up the floor here with some salt, just like that. Doesn't really matter how you put it. You can go ahead and texturize it and put the blocks in different directions if you want to. And we're also going to fill up all of our walls with some stone brick. So let's go ahead and speed through that. We'll get back to you in just a second here. So at this point, your build should look something like that. You may notice there's a couple things that could seem like problems in here and it's gonna be just fine. We're gonna fill in this whole section right here with oak and that's gonna hide the build up above and when we're up here we're going to have this all filled in anyways with a floor so we're going to get the floor and the ceiling taken care of and there's one other problem that i want you to see and you did not do anything wrong if this is what happens in your build it's perfectly fine this corner piece here you may have some stone bricks that's all right you don't need the corner piece that's not going to be visible from the inside you can go ahead and cover that up with some dirt or whatever else and because we have the floor and the roof on the inside you can replace those blocks with grass as well. So nothing will be exposed or visible from the outside. With the ceiling in place, it should look something like this. I've came in and I've also added some trap doors to be like supports for the log cabin above. I also took the liberty of hiding some glowstone underneath the trap doors in each of the corners, as well as one in the middle of here to make sure that this is nice and lit up. The glowstone is optional. You can decorate this in a different way and do lighting however you want. I just wanted to give you that option here. Now that the basement's complete, let's move on to the inside of the main part of the build. So we'll come in right here. I'm gonna add in stairs to get up to the second layer, starting right here on this uh, spruce log column. We'll come up one, two, three, and four stairs, just like that. Top here, we'll put a slab. That's gonna be our floor on the other side of the stairs. We can go ahead, place some upside down stairs. Actually, let's get rid of that slab do an upside down stair there, and then do a slab over there. That's gonna take care of our staircase going up. Next up, we're gonna add in a couple more rows of slabs just like that. So each in uh, those four spaces, we'll drag those all the way across in the right 
perfect spot. Make sure they're all on the top side. We don't want them on the bottom side that we can't place anything above. Then we can come in with some of our trap doors. I'm just using spruce here. So once again, we're kind of repeating the same sort of look that we went for in the basement, this time just switching the trap doors and the oak here. So now the oak is the supports instead of the trap doors. And we'll bring that all the way across here. So that's gonna be the floor for our second level in here. We gotta come in, put a few more trap doors right here as well, just like that. And I'll complete the look. On the second floor, we can come up here. We're gonna have this open space. You have a couple options. You can add in some more barrels if you want. I personally prefer putting in some more of the stripped dark oak. I feel like that just kind of completes the look a bit more. Back on the first floor, I also want to do the fireplace. If you come in two from the side, so one, two, break through right here. This is going to be the middle of our chimney from the outside. Let's replace those. And we're gonna punch out all of these blocks around it, turn those into cobble, place our campfire down right there. On both sides, we'll add in some cobble fence posts, some stairs, and a slab in the middle there, just kind of complete the mantle. And in the front of the fireplace, we'll put in some iron bars, so as like your safety guard, so you can't walk in and accidentally burn yourself on the fireplace. Safety first, kids, safety first. And there you go, that's the main part of the build all taken care of. All that is left to do now is just the detailing. I'm not gonna do a step-by-step -step here because detailing is really up to what you wanna use the build for and how you are going to do it, but I will walk you through some of the choices that I have made. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. Here's how the detailing went on my version of the build right here. So we got our log cabin all taken care of. I came in and did a lot of texturizing with the cobble, putting in some regular stone and mossy cobblestone, as well as some uh, cobblestone stairs just to make the build look like it's kind of beat up and uh, aged a bit. I've also added in some spruce signs here to act as like replacement panels and, and they're fixing up and boarding. Uh, some things I've added in some dark oak wood to give a little bit more weathering and aging. I did the same thing on the roof, adding in dark oak panels, more dark oak wood, and some dark oak planks here as well. Of course, every porch has to have a little lantern hanging out on top. Above the door, I added in an upside down stair just to give it a little bit more depth, a little more detail, and let that dark oak uh, wood shine a little bit more through there on the side. Coming around the front, not too much to see here, just some bone milling, some more grass, added in some cobblestone stairs and smooth stone stairs at the supports, a couple of bushes here and there for a bit more detailing. Uh, looking around back, we have more of the uh, spruce signs. We put in a wood pile using some oak logs and some put out fire uh, campfires. We have a composter back here, it's a little bit full, it act as like a garbage bin. And that is most of the exterior. So if we come on to the inside and let's take a look here, we have your welcome map and carpet, another composter here underneath this composter. Nice little lighting trick for you. I got a whole video about lighting tricks, but you can hide light underneath a composter and it will shine through in your build. So let's cover that back up. I did the standard bookcase underneath the stairs. So that's a good way to add a little bit of more interest to your staircases. We have a shroom light here, so an end rod with a red mushroom block on top to give light into the area. Place that on a scaffolding for an end table. And I got a crafting table right next to it as well. So we have almost every workstation inside of this build. Actually, I think we do got all of them. Uh, in front of our fireplace, we got a coffee table as well as a dark oak sofa here with some signs on the side to act as armrests. We have another extinguished campfire with some food on top to uh, help give us some preparation for our kitchen area. Some sea pickles here as some used or maybe not used yet cups. Uh, pressure plate as a chopping board. Cauldron with some water in it and a lever in the down position to act like a faucet. We got a smoker here as well. And then a couple of barrels for storage and another leaf over here. Uh, this is to be like, you know, maybe it's like some basil or something growing in the kitchen. You can go ahead and grab that for your cooking. It's got a little spice, a little life to your cooking. Up here on the second floor, we have an armor stand right at the front. So this could be like your closet uh, where you just go in and you store your gear. Of course, we got the barrels in the wall, some lanterns hanging on the top to make everything nice and spawn proof. We got another bush right here, this time in a flower pot with a dead bush. We got our loom, another crafting table and a cartographer's table up here as well. So again, every workstation is gonna be inside. 
Right here, we got some beds and more nightstands with scaffolding with a lantern and another flower pot. A uh, chest here just for more storage. And that's also hiding our hopper that we had down below for the, uh, the, the basil that we said was growing in the kitchen. Some beehives here, they work out really nicely as a cabinet drawer. We got a banner hanging on the wall, a nice white one to act like a whiteboard or something for writing and taking notes. Dark oak stair for a seat. We got a lectern hidden underneath these trap doors and some carpet just to have a nice little variation to the floor here. So that's looking pretty good, but let's go check out the basement. So going into the basement here, you can just open up one of these trap doors to get in and out quicker. And I added in some fences, or not fences, those are ladders. So you can just climb out rather than having to open every trap door each time you want to leave or enter the basement. So that way the trap doors are more just look uh, there for looks. We got uh, some detailing on the walls here, some mossy cobble and some cracked stone. I forgot to do this wall for some reason. So let's just do that real quick. I'm not thinking about it. I'm just talking and breaking and putting stuff in. There's no real thought process behind it. Just do what looks nice and try to randomize it, not make it look too on purpose. The floor here, we have some basalt mixed in going sideways. We even have blast furnace in the floor, which I thought looked pretty nice. Regular furnaces are here as well and some cobble to complete the look. Uh, on this far wall, you have everything you need for your gear. We have a smithing table, anvil, uh, grindstone, you can chest to store whatever you need, even though we got plenty of barrels hanging out in here as well. Uh, grindstone, not grindstone, that's a stone cutter. So you can come down here and have like a workbench and things. I have a little potion brewing area. So you got your stand, some more barrels, some nether wart, and your brown mushrooms for making all your potion needs, as well as another this time, empty cauldron. Now, let me show you a little trick that I did here that can work out pretty nicely. I have a magic wall. Let's get rid of everything in my inventory so you can see this work properly here. Right here, this magic wall, if I need to fill up this cauldron, I just go bam, click on that. And now we have a water bucket to fill up the cauldron. If you didn't see that, let's try it one more time. Empty bucket, click on that block. And we have a full bucket now in our inventory. Now, how did I do that trick? Let me show you, if you punch out this wall right here, we got a water source with some waterlogged stairs right here. So I put the mossy cobble or the mossy stone so I know it's right underneath those blocks. And since these are stairs, they're waterlogged and they're always going to refill themselves no matter how much you pull out the water from there. And of course we have an enchanting table and this is a full level 30 enchant. We come in here with our pickaxe. I can show you, look at that efficiency five. That's a pretty awesome pickaxe. Wish I could enchant that for my world right now. And uh, let's pick up all that rubbish. Is there anything else in here? I think that takes care of everything in this area. And with that, you should have a completed log cabin build. I would love to see what you guys have done with this. Feel free to tag me on Instagram and Twitter and wherever else you do the social media things. I wanna see your builds and I wanna see what you've done with them. If you're looking for more building tips and tricks videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click one of the videos that you see on screen right now. I got a whole bunch more information from custom trees, hidden lighting, pathways, roofs, and more to come in the future. So don't miss out. I'll see you all next time, everyone. This is Bowtie. Peace out.